Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I'm getting my hair done. Okay, your hair is uh, too short for this. My hair is too short. I have long hair. No, you don't. I do. Not long like you. But anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. Uh, we have like a lot to tell you guys today. <laughs> a lot to show you guys today. Um, number one, I bought this a few years ago at the Royal Winter Fair. Like a lot of years ago. And I lost the cord for it. And I couldn't find it. But today, I found it. And so I am back in business. This is a back massager. I am so excited. So excited to use this thing again. Feels good though. It feels so good. She put my hair up in a clip. It literally feels so good. I like my hair better up higher. Gabby wants to try that on Sophie, but Sophie's afraid. She doesn't want, she thinks it's gonna it hurt. hurt. Anyway, we are gonna start today's video off by showing you guys our new baby chickens. They've all hatched. We put 24 eggs in the incubator and we got 14 baby chicks back. It sounds like a really low hatch rate, it's just about 50%, just maybe 51%. But I think the error came in the eggs. We bought the eggs already fertilized and I don't think, and the only ones that didn't hatch were the ones that weren't viable. All of my parameters yeah, were perfect. My humidity was perfect. My temperature was perfect the whole way through. So I know that we didn't make any mistakes. I know the mistakes came with the eggs. Some weren't fertile and some stopped developing. I don't know why. The last one to hatch is this little teeny tiny copper moran. Oh, there it is moving around. She's fluffing up. We haven't sexed it yet. We are about to sex all. Is hey, going, push hard enough. That that doesn't. That's the wrong way. It has to go up and down. I ha, don't. It has to go up and down. I did it. No, that's not it. <laughs> good right. try. Uh, actually, no. It feels really good. Yes. That's what you have sisters for to do your well, makeup, you, to do your hair. I can do my makeup by myself. I know, but she puts too much blush on. I love I it. I love it, bottom. Sophie. I have a so for school this morning, we are taking notes. We're gonna classify our chickens. We're gonna classify them by sex and by breed. Look at That's how you lost it. I literally have found a toonie. That's a two two dollars in Canada. I found it two times today. It fell from my hand. Alright, so first of all, let's classify. So we're gonna start, we're gonna classify our chickens. This is what we do every single time we have a new batch of chickens. We have I an just idea. I to see how calm this thing is. I know, this is like the best chicken we've ever had. This is Belle. Yeah, isn't she adorable? She'll show them her chunky face. Wait. Chunky face? Like, she has the fattest face and she's so cute. Okay, so. She's the only one that doesn't scream when we pick her up. So I have a list Who here tooted? of all the roosters from this last hatch and all the hens. Apparently they had sex link <laughs> hens, but we didn't get any of those. They have blue morans and they have black copper morans. I hope we got some blue morans. Actually, I think we did. So this little chicken, okay, Gabby, so make a list here. She's my favorite. Wow. I started making a list. Just say second hatch chickens. I'm writing her down too. the ones that we're keeping. All right, you write down the ones that we're keeping, and we're gonna. I only got two because I don't. Okay, know so this one here came out of a blue egg. That's Belle. She's so we think baby. she's an Easter egg, or she's got the cheeks. <laughs> Wait, the light in here is terrible. She's you can't see. Let's see if you guys can see. She's got the big, huge Easter egg or cheek. She came out of a green egg, and we think she's a girl. I'll show you how. So how we sex our chickens right from birth is Ruby's there, ready to eat her. Um. So see how. All of her feathers are all even. So they go along in a line here, all Shoot. even across. They're all I the same the e length. So we're pretty sure she's a girl and we're keeping her. She's an Easter egg. -er. And out of the entire 14 chickens, we only had two cream colored ones. All the rest are like blacks and grays. It's hard to see, but the feathers down here are longer than the feathers up here. So these ones end right here and these ones come all the way down here. And so that is a boy. This is Gaston. Also, this guy came from a pink egg and he is a barred rock or a barred rock cross, but I think it's a barred rock. And it'll be like a black and white chicken when it's all the way finished growing. It'll be a black and white rooster. But also the other way you can tell with the barred rock is that they have a big white spot on their head. If it's a barred rock and it has a tiny white spot or no white spot, then it's a girl. So we're gonna go through all of our baby chicks and we are going to classify them by sex and then figure out which ones we're gonna keep, and then Sophie will sell the rest. He's still wet. All right, so this is our last chicken, and I just wanted to tell you guys before we move to the next thing that um, 
two of our black copper moran eggs hatched. I'll show you the I'll show you the other chick. This is one of them. Oh, that looks like a girl to me. This is the actual first black copper moran that hatched. It is so freaking adorable. I'm obsessed. Actually, I think it's a boy. That's really sad. So <laughs> I think it's a boy. That. We've been inside all day because it is freezing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's actually snowing. <laughs> I am dying to get out and play with my puppy outside. I'm dying to do some stuff to the chicken area. I'm dying to do stuff for the horse stuff. Like I'm dying to do so much stuff and the weather is just not cooperating. I knew this is gonna happen though. I knew that we were gonna have a long winter. I knew it you guys. We hardly had a winter. Like if we had winter, it limited us from doing stuff, but it wasn't like as bad as it always is. And because of that, I knew that it was gonna last forever. That's what happens every single time. We're almost finished with all the snow, but it's still freezing outside. Like I just want one week of warm, just one week to make up for all the cold that we've had. Anyway, we're headed to go pick up more chicken food because every time I go to this chicken place, I order laying mash, layer mash. And what I mean is layer crumble, but there's layer, crumble and then there's mash there's no layer mash but they always give me the thing that i don't want so we're headed back to get more chicken food but we got these chickens they some of them a couple of them had scaly leg mites and it's just like little bugs underneath the skin of the legs and they <laughs> they are annoying they're like itchy and they bite and it's annoying to to chickens and the other people the people that we bought them from either didn't know that they had them or didn't know how easy it is to fix but I saw a comment that said I would never have bought those birds because of the scaly leg mites the parasites and I would never have got them but for me I would have bought them even more because I know how simple it is to fix that to treat it and I would want to bring them home and treat it for them so that they're not living their entire lives with scaly leg mites Oh, did you get it already? Oh, okay. Wait, don't you get out here. I'll never catch you. <laughs> Crazy story, you won't even believe it. So, every time I come here to buy chicken food, I get the wrong food. Yeah, I wanted to get layer pellet, but I always ask for layer mash. It's like this treat thing, and it's got corn in it, and it's not like the proper kind of food that I want our chickens to have. I asked her and what she said I've been buying that I've been getting that is that I haven't been wanting to get with the corn in it is actually a layer food made specifically for chickens to eat but that it has oyster shell in it and it has um, corn in it and it has other things in it and that it, is, it does also have the food in it. So what I'm getting is probably even superior to what I wanted. Perfect, except I asked about the protein because the chickens that we have currently, I feel like need more protein in their diet. Like I told you, they have the scaly leg mites, but also one of the chickens one time ate an egg and most chickens don't do that. Even if you give them eggs, like we feed our chicken eggs lots of times for protein, to up their protein. But when a chicken, typically, typically when a chicken eats their own eggs before you even collect them, um, it's because they're lacking stuff in their diet. So I specifically wanted them to have like the higher protein food that I always get. And so I asked about the protein and she said that the protein in the, in the mash that I've been getting is, 15% where the other food is like 18%. So not that big of a difference, but for these new chickens specifically, I want them to have the higher protein just to get them going. But she said I can mix the both foods. So it's not good though. Like I'm so glad. Like all this time I've been like, oh, I'm getting them a treat. I can't even give them this. Like I don't want to give them a treat because the treats, the mash can make them stop laying. But all along it's actually been really good food. Look, oh, go get it. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Molly does not like this. 
chihuahuas now that i think about it they did not interact with the big dogs very much like Ma macy did when she was young but the last couple of years she mostly just laid down and didn't do much with them she would like eat with them and she would climb on ruby and lay with her but the puppies like the molly and daisy she didn't really do much with them and i'm noticing now like i wish she had because this little dog <laughs> It's too much for the puppies. Ellie wants to screech when she runs. Like she gets so excited and wants to play and she barks the whole time, which our chihuahuas were not like that at all. wants to go out Ellie has more energy than all of our puppies put together like our bigger dogs put together she has more energy she has more more like you name it she has more of it Ellie no don't go down there she's just learning about sticks, <laughs> <She likes sticks. laughs> I've noticed Ellie looking at the road a little I have to be on top of that. Like when we bring her outside, we have to be on top Wait, of everything. Wait, you should go up that hill. Hold this. All right. Come on, Ellie. I love her though, you guys. Like she's been the biggest blessing in my life in years. Like I love our horses. I love our dogs. I love our kids. But if dogs can be soulmates, Ellie is mine. Oh my gosh. She's like a little bunny. She's like a little bunny. If dogs can be soulmates, then this dog is my soulmate. So baby, we should start living now. Cause we only have this life. Wanna laugh and wanna cry. I don't wanna waste my time. I've tasked Gabby with cleaning the arena. I've been cleaning this arena ever since we got it, this this farm. And I recently tasked Gabby to do it and she's been doing a really good job just the other day. She's been cleaning it every day. Penny, Penny needs a good brush. So I wanted to tell you guys that, that the reason that we haven't been working with our mares, it's really awful, it's really sad. Like I'm so obsessed with working with our mares, doing positive reinforcement, but the problem I'm having is that we use really tiny grain to, we have like this extra grain that we don't use. So we've been using that for their treat and for positive reinforcement training and it's been working amazing and we've been loving it but I noticed the other day that Penny's getting a little bit crusty and I'm always like super aware and super on top of that so I took a break so we were taking a break because I don't like it's spring I want them to get into shape and be a good shape when all their fur comes off all their winter coat comes off yeah, I haven't been using that I've been researching and researching and researching so many recipes for like a healthy treat and all I can find is that they say that like fruits and vegetables are better for horses if you cut them up into teeny tiny little pieces so that's what we're going to do and we're going to start again um we're kind of waiting for this like muddy season to get past because literally the only part of our arena that we can use like this small arena is already cut into three like we have this mud here and then we have that big huge mud puddle in the middle there just past that ball so there's not much room but we're waiting for it to dry up a little bit and then we're going to start all fresh again and use something different and then i'm going to keep on researching and figuring out what is a low a good low quality feed or a treat to give to a horse when you do positive reinforcement and the problem for me is that everything i read is that most people use hay cubes and i don't want to use hay cubes because I'm like the kind of person like I'm like Sophie and I worry I were like my kids hardly ever got hurt when they were little because I worried so much and I was so cautious and I was so like careful with everything and it's like why we don't use hay bags even though for the most part that nothing bad will happen but there's always that tiny little chance that something bad could happen so I don't want to use hay cubes I don't dry hay cubes pose the possibility of them choking and I really like want to avoid that at all costs so trying to figure it out, trying to figure out a way that we can safely work with our mares, doing it the way that we love. 
So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Yes, I did just go visit Honey. You went to visit Honey? Yeah. And my shoes. Yeah. So horses are in. Horses are in for the night. Hi. <laughs> She's like, Help. This is my view no matter where I am. Here, Els, look, 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 go. Get it. Well, it's got a little handle. It's bigger than her head. <laughs> this little dog has more energy than any dog I've ever had before in my life. Oh, this time. All right. Hello, handsome man. This must be his bread. This must be the their breakfast. Yeah, I have to throw it out in the morning. We throw it out in the morning? Yeah. I also wanted to say that we've had some really good suggestions in our comments lately. Like, people are saying that Sophie should use Storm. And she might use Storm, like for trails and stuff. That might be something that happens. The problem is that he's not a horse that she could, like he's not a horse that wants to do what she wants to do. And we had that problem with Gabby and I don't want to start that again. He likes the little tiny kids, so don't ask him to do much. And I want to keep it like that for his happiness. Sometimes I like to look in Sam's toolbox because he buys stuff and hides them from me, like things that I like and things that I could use. <laughs> and then I like to find them and then sneak it away. And the other thing that a lot of people say is that if Chino doesn't work out for Gabby, then Sophie should have him and that he'd probably enjoy Western. He's done Western before. And that's an option too. Like we're, we're still figuring things out. And I just wanted you guys to know that I appreciate your suggestions and your comments and your ideas. And we're just still figuring it out. Like we have lots of options, but we can't really have options. Where's my dog? <laughs> Water. Don't, go, don't go in that water either. Yeah, come on. Come on. If you can. Oh my god. My poor baby. Oh, poor me. <laughs> come here. Come here. <laughs> Allie lost me. She ran around the whole house looking for me. So I don't want it. Oh. It has birds oh. on it. So many birds. Oh my gosh. You guys, Ellie's first adventure. Oh, she's frozen. I'm going to have to go give her a really warm bath and get the birds off her. But I guess she followed Sophie out the door of the barn. And well, then. I was carrying her and I thought she wanted to play. So I put it in. <laughs> and she went right into the chicken coop. We're looking for you. Running all the way down that little drop. So I just jumped down it. <laughs> She ran over there. And I was like, I'm gonna die. She's not yard, she's not I farm even, proof yet. I even tried to get dad to catch her. <laughs> oh, what did dad say? She just ran right by him. <laughs> oh, it's because she loves me so much. Yeah, she's annoying. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the